Hey there, Kevin. This is Chase. I wanted to go ahead and get a video for you. Got it pulled out of the spot now. I'll just kind of highlight those areas we talked on over the phone. A few more things I found. Just getting kind of a slight dust off on the car here. Cleans up super nicely. Presents well. I did notice towards the rear uh, I've got kind of loss of function out of those struts here. Looks like they hold to a degree about halfway through. Some of that lift powers out. Those would probably need to be addressed there. Really clean to the rear side here. I'll get this lowered and here's the spot it was parked in as well. This is where it sat. Don't have really any any spots any leaks strips things like that on this one we are definitely aware of the leakers here in our facility and proud to say that's not one of them but i'll go through i'll come back around to the driver's side here i'm going to get this door popped open for you no major say indications where the door's making contact or you know, hanging on its hinges there with any type of droop. I've got a little area here, probably just a shoe scuff or something that needs to be taken down. And start with the driver's seat here. Here's the wear on this inner bolster, kind of where the seam stitched through a little bit of tear there, or excuse me, just wear. Mostly just abrasions, say, onto that side. It's just a little crumb. Outside of that, the leather's really holding up well. The seat itself isn't showing similar ages there. Got a little bit of a dirty floor mat here. And oil pressure trim ring. You can see where the black kind of polyurethane ring just fits into there. We, we really don't have, I've got the rubber grommet, but we can't trace where maybe that ring came in just missing for it. I'm working my way to the passenger side here as well. I'll get back in here and highlight just kind of a quick view of that seat area for you. seeing just just you know a few more things outside of what I mentioned to you there small bit of what's made some contact there we checked it in with um, you know just yeah a little damage it is down to the the panel there see a few touch-ups on both mirrors minor minor just rock chips the passenger side's got a little bit bigger one Actually, while I'm here, let me go ahead and highlight that area where some of the factory paint protection film is. You can just see a little discolored, this older material. Nice to prevent rock chips, but that side's shown some age. You probably want that replaced. They make newer kits that would lay clear and stay that way versus some of the older stuff. No real curb rash on the wheels try to get you a date on these tires as well too I see a little scuff on this splitter towards the low front to see where something's made an impact a little rub damage towards the kind of midpoint towards the bottom there and then really I'll try to highlight these kind of minor chips too just you know peppered a little bit here and there passenger sides got a few more that are showing to be white through the paint like that one there I've got one or two on the hood outside of a few smudges let me see if I can highlight that one the camera's having a little hard time finding it there there we go and that actually may have been a smudge I know on the uh 
There's actually two of those. There's just a little grease spot there. Hey, that's better than through the paint. I had one up here. That's actually nice to know that it's maybe just a little smudge or something off our warehouse roof. Here's down to a small chip in the hood there. Passenger side has those peppered a little bit more. That's a scuff, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it's through the clear, kind of just existing on top. See a little bit more of where these minor stone chips are speckled in. You know, those are more apparent than the driver's side. Don't have to get too, too close to know that there are some, just kind of some areas just peppered in, mostly on the front fascia. I don't see any innards. They stop kind of towards the flat part of the bumper there. No indication like that other side where this seam has had any rock or anything like that hit it. Here's a passenger mirror showing a little bit more extensively this touch up. That is a little bit bigger one on that side. back to that discolored black film just protecting kind of that edge of the scoop there another example where yeah no no slag or no hanging say where that door's showing any excess stress and scratching up the strike plate or to the bottom anything there I've got the glass showing really nicely outside Small, just another, yeah, some, some grease spec, something like that. Kind of get a highlight more so on where there, there's, you know, to be expected, some minor abrasions on the paint side. I'm going to see if I can get the light to highlight them any further for us. I know your, your inspector will probably look and report back too. I think, you know, maybe not a, a full paint correction or restoration, but a Polishing a buff on this for factory paint would really do it some justice there. get some power to it and do another quick walk around for you and then anything say I, I didn't get to or you, you want a little bit further of a look at there I'll try to get back to the wheel arches on the interior as well here towards the interior some of that just may be that factory coating on it I don't think that that's maybe kind of a little sludge from the road and grime over the years and not touch that off the plastic panels do look 
well kept for us there. I do see more of that aged paint protection film, just that piece for rock chip prevention there. But I'll go ahead and get this over to you, say for getting some pictures of the, uh, the front wheel arches or, or anything additional. You can just let me know. Thank you.